Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the latest news from Bahrain International. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Russian President Vladimir Putin, strongly condemning the armed attack which caused the death of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. His Majesty denounced the heinous terrorist act which contravenes all human norms, ethical principles and values, extending heartfelt condolences to the Russian President, people and to the ambassador's family. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Federal Republic of Germany's Chancellor, Angela Merkel, expressing the Kingdom of Bahrain's strongest condemnation of the terrorist truck attack which targeted a Christmas market in the capital Berlin, killing and injuring tens of innocent people. His Majesty stressed that such sinful terrorist acts are contradictory to all humanitarian conventions, moral principles and values. He expressed deepest condolences and sympathies to the German Chancellor and to the families of the victims, wishing all those injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, strongly denouncing and condemning the armed attack which caused the death of the Russian ambassador to Turkey. His Royal Highness expressed his deepest condolences and sympathies to the Russian people and the family of the deceased, reaffirming Bahrain's strong rejection of terrorism in all of its forms and manifestations, which are contradictory to all humanitarian principles and moral values. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to German Chancellor Angela Merkel, condemning the terrorist truck attack which targeted a Christmas market in the German capital Berlin, killing and wounding tens of innocent people. He stressed that such heinous terrorist acts are contradictory to all teachings of heavenly religions, humanitarian conventions and moral values. His Royal Highness expressed his deepest condolences to the German Chancellor and the families of the victims, wishing those injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin, strongly condemning the armed terrorist attack which caused the death of Russian Ambassador to Turkey. He expressed his deepest condolences to the Russian people and the family of the deceased and denounced such sinful terrorist acts which contradict the teachings of all heavenly religions, humanitarian values and international conventions. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to Russian Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to German Chancellor Angela Merkel condemning the terrorist truck attack which targeted a Christmas bazaar in the German capital Berlin, killing and wounding tens of innocent people. He stressed that such heinous terrorist acts are contradictory to all humanitarian values and expressed his utmost consolation to the families of the victims, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, today chaired an EDB meeting where he stressed the importance of sustaining the investment sector in the Kingdom to fulfil the goals of the Economic Vision 2030 in order to achieve the desired comprehensive development. He also highlighted the importance of unifying the efforts of the public and private sectors to resume the development and growth that in turn supports the national economy. The importance of enhancing the investment field with promising products and projects that contribute to the development and diversification of the economy which create career opportunities for citizens was also highlighted by His Royal Highness. He noted the necessity of doubling efforts of developing infrastructure in the telecommunications sector to enhance the national economy. His Royal Highness then toured the new board's headquarters in the Gulf of Bahrain and viewed various directorates and sections. He was also briefed on the current status of the implementation of plans, strategies and programmes that the board aims to complete to enhance economic growth and coordination with various local and international bodies. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the board members further success.
Under the patronage of the Honorary President of the Civil Social Work Fund is Highness Shakhisa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Ministry of Labour and Social Development organised a ceremony to distribute financial grants to 48 non-government associations that met the approved standards programmes. Present were the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Labour and Social Development, Subha Al Dosari, along with a number of MPs and Shura Council members. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Issa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa expressed his pride and the achievements of civil society associations in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which preserved and worked hard to meet the needs of individuals, regardless of age. He also praised the role played by the Civil Social Work Fund in steering and follow-up support and financial grants programme, and the efforts made by its board of directors in this area over the past few years. His Highness Sheikh Issa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Labour and Social Development distributed financial grants certificates to the 48 winning associations. He also honoured the organisations that supported the Civil Social Work Fund.